I'm a Devon foster carer. I used to foster with an independent agency, but I now foster with Devon. I foster with Devon because I think the support that they give you is just superb. They are always on the end of the phone. The fostering team are absolutely superb at giving you the support you need uh, with the children that you have within your home. And the social workers for the children are always there on the end of the line if there's any problems at all. We have had the most excellent support from Devon, from our link social workers, from the children's social workers, from different people in fostering and from our fostering support group. Um, I also foster with Devon because I find that they offer you um, a really good age range of children that you can foster. Um, they uh, offer you children who are more suitable for your own home and that fit in really well with your family environment. They um, tend to be not quite so challenging as other children you might get. Um, so they're exceptionally um, they fit in with your family circumstances much better. I also foster with Devon because I find that you never seem to get a gap in your fostering. In fact, it's quite difficult to get a gap when you're fostering. As soon as one's gone, the phone's going and you're there with the next one. So um, I think that Devon is exceptionally good at that. They really value you as a foster carer and therefore they try its hardest to keep you as busy as possible. <laughs> Uh, the Skills to Foster course is the first course that we actually do um, before becoming foster carers. It takes place over four separate days and it gives you a very full insight into what fostering might entail, the sort of problems children might have, um, how to deal with them um, and that sort of thing and then it leads you on to other courses later on. Um, Devon Fostering also have a superb training programme at the start of every year they send you a big um, brochure which you can look through and any gaps in your training or anything that's come along you think oh I'm not a little bit weak on that maybe that would be really good to refresh myself on that you can um, sign up for and plan your whole year's training um, and I find that really really useful because um, it does give you the opportunity to keep your training at the highest standard possible. Well, we did um, a particular one about fetal alcohol syndrome, which is really interesting because a lot of the children we get have that problem. And there are very specific things with those children that you, that's really helpful to know about. So that's, that's great when you can do a course like that because it just sets you forward to know what you're doing and where you're going. I also foster with Devon because of the support I get from the um, fostering support group that we go to. That happens about once a month. We also encompass our training within that event and um, that's always very, very good. The quality of training is excellent. Um, we really enjoy all getting together and having a chat. We swap stories and give each other support if anybody's got any queries or problems or issues that have been raised within their placement there's always somebody there who can say oh I know that happened to me I can sort that out for you. Our fostering support group meets in a church hall we have a crash downstairs so that people who are fostering younger children can bring them with them. We regularly have training so we might have somebody come from education um, we might have somebody come from CEOP which is the um, abuse team which has been very useful. Um, we've had letterboxing which is to do with adoption. We've had lots of different training. The other useful service that is available to us as foster carers are the peer guides and these are experienced foster carers who uh, are there for you at the end of the phone at any time of the day or the evening. Um, they can talk through any problems you have perhaps with the child or the, that you need to discuss perhaps a, a query from the child's parents that you don't know the answer to and they're there on the end of the phone. I foster with Devon Fostering because I feel very strongly that we're doing a job for Devon children within Devon and that's very important to me that we're able to keep these children within the environment that they know whether that be rural Devon or city Devon but we are helping to keep those children who have lost so much already within an environment that they know. They're not uprooted and sent somewhere that they don't know. Um, it's easier for contacts for families, it's better for school and friends, everything that's familiar for them, it's just much nicer for them to be closer to where they come from. 
certainly, you know, we want them to, to maintain contact, we want them to feel at ease, uh, we want to keep them at school and keep their education going. Um, and it's all about consistency and stability for these children. They have a lot to cope with moving from one place to another, strange house, strange family. And if you can keep them within the location, it is much better for the children. I really enjoy fostering um, with Devon because it's just such a great thing to do for my family as well. It gives my my children, my two sons, the ability to learn how to um, care for other people, to give something back themselves, to learn how to share their toys, um, and just really generally to learn how to social skills to mix with other people who come from perhaps quite a different background to the one that they've come from. We enjoy fostering because it gives something back to the community. It's, not, it's helping local people with issues that maybe they can't deal with themselves and helping to look after their children while they sort themselves out is just the best thing in the world to do and we get a great deal out of it. Some of the highlights of my husband and I um, are the fact that the children keep in touch, that we have foster grandchildren now, uh, that we see the children and they phone us and tell us how they're doing in life and that is really really I don't know, it gives you something back because you see them make a success of what they're doing. The best thing for me is knowing that you've made a difference to a child's life. That whatever else you might do in the world, somewhere there is a child that you have made a difference for. I just love seeing their little smiley faces when they've had a great day at school or you've been out on a lovely day or just when they put their arms up at night to give you a kiss and you know that they're safe. You know, when you put them to bed, you know that they're safe and it's just such a wonderful feeling.